everyone. Hopefully by now you've read Angela Ackerman's and Lee Powell's interviews in Author Success Stories magazine. And I just wanted to show you what the One Stop for Writers looks like. I was pretty blown away when I first logged in and signed up for uh, One Stop for Writers for six months. And that's the same time frame that we've got to give away. We've got two lots of subscriptions to give away, six month subscriptions. Uh, so if you're lucky enough to win it, this is what you'll find. Uh, this is the screen that you get when you go to One Stop for Writers. And Becca has given a wonderfully professional run through of the character builder tool. And I watched that video and I thoroughly recommend that you do as well. But I wanted to show you what goes on when you when you get inside, when you get inside One Stop and the things that are there. I had a go uh, with a novel that I'm writing and I was just blown away with uh, how wonderful it was. So I thought I'd share with you. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just signing in now on my beautifully slow internet. So we'll just see how we go here. Okay. So this is the thing that I'm talking about. It's the character builder tool and I've started uh, using it already. So I've got my own workspace and if you subscribe you'll have your own workspace as well. But as you can see there's all these wonderful things. Uh, but I think the character builder tool makes everything else work worthwhile. So I just click on my workspace here and here is my character Kaylee. Uh, this is my pirate story. And I had written uh, close on 50,000 words of this story before I put Kaylee through the character builder tool. So I was a little bit surprised at the things I didn't know. Now remember, Angela and Becca have just put out their new updated thesaurus, character uh, thesaurus, and I was keen to have a go. And here's what I had to do. I had to fill out all these lines across the top. I had to go backstory, personality, behavior, motivations, physical details, daily life, gallery, and summary at the end. There was so much I didn't know about my character. And of course, straight away, pants or plotter, are you designing a character who doesn't require much planning? Uh, and you can use as much of this stuff as you want to. So I just made a little bit of a start to find out a little bit more about my character and it takes you through all the things that you find out. So I knew she had a nomadic child, childhood, I knew she was a sailor and I knew she'd been uh, tripping around the place and then I could add, add a wound if I wanted to and then I had to start really answering some questions. You know, what were the wounds? Why was she on her own? And I ended up choosing a couple uh, which I can't even remember what now, but we'll see that at the end. And then we came through and then I had to work out what she was scared of. Okay, so there was a fear of a primary wound. There was fear-related behaviours and attitudes. And again, filling all these things out. So the fear, behaviour, uh, attitudes. I had to answer these questions. Uh, what would your character avoid? What situations or set or, uh, settings would the character feel threatened? How does the character hide uh, fear from others. And so by building up all this information, I started to get to know a little bit about my character. Okay, and here's some of the ones that I filled in. Uh, so she's biased against family groups who rely on each other because she's, uh, she's a loner. Uh, she's from a long line of independent women who need no one because she's a pirate. She believes that to need others makes her weak. And that turns out to be her fatal flaw. Because she's been brought up on a, in a world where only the strong survive, she mistrusts people who aren't self-reliant. She's a loner and even though she calls Silverton Cove home, she's never stayed around long enough to find out. Uh, she believes that to need others is a weakness. She feels insecure when others look at her and decide what to do. She doubts her ability to make right decisions because she's only ever looked after herself. Uh, and she runs rather than stays and fights because it's much easier to get back on her yacht and sail away. Uh, she's triggered when she sits in the family cemetery. Now, I didn't know where my novel was going to go. And when I had to start making, uh, making I guess, when I had to start thinking about these things, the family cemetery wasn't even going to be in it and it was up on a bluff. But it's where that she comes to the realisation uh, that things have to change and she can't keep running forever. Uh, how does your character overact to these triggers? When triggered, she confronts, she goes 
to the cemetery and rants like the Furies. Uh, she's unable to trust her strong self because of the mistakes she's made. Uh, so they're, they're all questions that took me far deeper into my character and it was what I wanted to show you. I really wanted to show you this stuff because uh, Becca takes us through far, far better than I do. But being able to see the questions that you have to answer and how it can improve your story. Uh, now, I'm not a plotter by any sense of the imagination. I sit there and I write. Uh, but it really made me stop um, and see what was going on. And that was really, really cool. And that took me through. Now, you can go through this personality, um, backstory, behaviours, uh, motivations, physical details. Now, I'm not a physical person. I don't think I even bothered filling that stuff in. Uh, and then I've got this wonderful summary at the end. Don't forget to select all. And that ticks our motivation. These are the things that I filled in. So these are the things that I'm going to find out in my summary. Uh, I haven't done a lot of this stuff, but I'm sure over time you could fill everything in. Okay, it generates a PDF. And this is the part that I think makes every cent worth it. If I did this for every character in, in my series, I would know an awful lot more before I even started. So you get this PDF. I've got an eight-page PDF. Uh, the eye of a view, because I haven't finished it, it hasn't come through yet. But I get her wounds, I get her fears, uh, what lies she's told, her lies um, from her primary wound, things that I hadn't even thought of, why she mistrusts, and all that information's there, uh, her secrets, and then all the other things, and you can go on and you can fill all these things out. Uh, down the bottom, the emotional range, um, needs to be learned to think things through, angers quickly, retreats to be alone, talks too much, doesn't drink, becomes calm and confident when overstimulated. The, if you do half of this, your character is going to come alive so much better on the page. Um, she's uh, reserved, quick to anger, negative coping me uh, mechanisms, uh, fantasizing about revenge, which I think is a great thing for a pirate. Uh, then it t takes you through the emotional uh, shielding what she does and again you can have a look at the information that I had to fill out as you can see the gaps in this I spent a couple of hours on this and I've only only half touched on everything that this um, this character builder can do um, then it comes down and then it's a physical appearance see how good I am at physical I haven't got anything there but you can upload pictures and all that kind of stuff uh, that sort of stuff bores me unfortunately daily life hobbies all that now that is just the quickest overview uh, and it's really, really exciting about what you can do. That PDF there is then ready to download and all the rest of it. So if you are the slightest bit interested in One Stop for Writers, I've got two, I've got two six-month subscriptions to give away, and if you have a look, I can show you the account, I can show you my subscription, uh, everything that I've got, uh, my workspace. There's lots of other things here. These, All these things are added bonus bonuses which I haven't even started to play with because I got so excited by the character builder uh, story maps scene maps um, timelines world building all that kind of stuff um, maybe I'll make another video when I get and do all these things I don't think there's another tool uh, around like it so I'm really excited that Lee has teamed up with Angela and Becca and used it to win one of the two subscriptions donated very kindly by Angela and Becca and Lee uh, I want you to help me with my novel. The opening sentence of my novel is The wind was a bitch and she was freezing her ass off. Your job is to rewrite that sentence uh, and come up with a better opening for me. I was very worried about the two wases in the sentence and our conversation on uh, Facebook with Rachel Bailey and the team, we ended up agreeing that we could probably have that and it was correct grammar. And I'm, I, do love my, I do love my opening sentences, sentence and I don't want to lose it, uh, but if anyone can rewrite it for me and come up with something even better, you've got yourself a subscription to One Stop for Writers uh, for six months. All you need to do to win is to email me at melinda at tropicalwriting.com.au and fix that uh, dastardly sentence for me and then you get to play with the character builder uh, yourself for the next six months. And don't forget you get access to the online versions of all those beautiful 
thesaurus that the ladies have written as well. Uh, who wouldn't want to play and who wouldn't want to use a character builder? Uh, as I said, I'm writing a series and I can't wait to uh, settle down and, and go through it with my protagonists for all my stories. And the judge of our story will be none other than the editor of our illustrious magazine and my techie, uh, Samantha Hammond, and she's brutal, be warned. <laughs>